What's up YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel and today we're going to be going over a couple new parts that I got for the Camaro. Uh, if you guys have watched any of my previous videos you might know that I am switching to the Holly EFI system and previously in the past before pulling the old V6 out of my Camaro the sending unit took a crap on me. So I went ahead and ordered some stuff to upgrade my fuel system. As you guys know I already have nylon braided uh, fuel line for the engine bay and the new AN fittings and I have removed the rear end and I'm getting ready to remove the tank in order to install the new sending unit and this new Aeromotive fuel pump. It is the Aeromotive 11569, it is E85 compatible um, but in order to actually run EFI because the Holly EFI system also is E85 compatible I would still need to upgrade my fuel lines but I don't think I'll be running E85 anytime soon and uh, looking at my lines and my tank and everything, everything looks to be in good condition uh, as far as rust and everything. It's rust free, it's a uh, New Mexico car so I've yet to find any real rust on the vehicle so everything looks really good so I'll be sticking with the tank as of right now until I get it dropped and can get a better inspection on it but I'll be keeping the same tank most likely and the lines but I will be running this upgraded uh, fuel pump due to the Holly EFI uh, system requiring more fuel. So this is once again the Aeromotive 11569 it runs around a hundred dollars I ordered mine from uh, Summit Racing you get your uh, warranty and instructions and everything here it is uh, universal it will fit many different vehicles but it's good for the 82 to 92 Camaro or Pontiac so this is everything that comes with it. You got a couple sleeves here, the sock, a couple hose clamps. Then you have the fuel pump itself, the attachment hose. Then you got your fuel pump. Feels really sturdy. Uh, Aeromotive is one of the best uh, companies out there for fuel systems. So you get your two wire plug and then you get the adapter for it as well. This is the adapter you'll use. It plugs into the fuel pump and actually uh, you splice this end into your sending unit and I also got a new sending unit so I will be doing a future video on installing not just the uh, sending unit but uh, aftermarket fuel pump jeez can't talk right now alright so like I said this is everything that comes with the Aeromotive fuel pump everything you'll need and it runs around a hundred dollars Okay, so real quickly before we move into the fuel sending unit, uh, I want to give you some specs on this fuel pump made by Aeromotive. I think the stock, don't quote me, the free flow rate is around 255 liters per hour, but don't quote me on this. This one is 340, which is the requirement for the Holly EFI, which is 90 gallons per hour. And then uh, I think the stock maximum pressure or PSI for the pumps is around 20. Once again, don't quote me on that, but this one has a maximum PSI of 90. So it is uh, not a stock replacement, but it's a great replacement. Like I said, this will work not only for the Camaros, but the Firebirds as well, and many other vehicles. You can always go on there and uh, see if it works for your vehicle if you're looking at upgrading your fuel pump. So now looking at the fuel tank sending unit, this is a Dorman sending unit, part number 692-137. This is a good replacement as well as the AC Delco. There are a few other brands out there, but a lot of them do have bad reviews. Uh, that's something you definitely want to look at when buying parts for these uh, Camaros or anything in general. But uh, it is a good replacement. It's got good reviews. And these sending units usually range, not the Dorman one, but cheap ones on eBay and uh, Parts Geek and stuff like that range anywhere from $50 all the way up to about $250 all depending on the one that you get. Also you need to be careful when ordering your sending unit sometimes it will not come with the accessories or the ring you might have to either order it separately or reuse your old one. So this one runs around $140 and it comes with basically everything you need. Another sock which I won't be using but it does come with the ring and uh, everything else that I'll need. So here you have your four lines and that's going to be your primary uh, feed line, your return line, 
your EVAP line and your vent line. So it's got everything you need. And then down on this side, this is the wire that will actually be outside of the tank that plugs in on the uh, back of your rear seats. It's mounted up there. This will plug in there. And then you have this plug here. This will actually be the one that you splice into for the power uh, on your fuel pump. So it'll be a pretty simple installation. I'll go over that once I get the gas tank out. I'll do a video on the removal and installation of everything. So if you guys are doing this same pro uh, project, it should be very helpful, hopefully. So let me know what you guys think once that is posted. But nice little polished finish. It's going to look great. <laughs> Everybody's going to be able to see it. No, not really. But uh, yeah, right before I parked my Camaro, the sending unit actually went out and my fuel gauge went all the way up past uh, full. So that is why I'm going to be replacing this, not just the fuel pump. So YouTubers, that's the latest update on my Camaro. Stick around for that upcoming video of actually removing everything and installing the new stuff. So if you're in the process of either dropping your rear end to pull your tank or if you're going through the back hatch, you're going to cut that hole in there. Or maybe your car already has that uh, little hatch cut into it. Mine does not. I just laid new carpet, a custom box back there, all new insulation. So I'm not going to tear into that. It was simple enough to remove the rear end. Really not that much work. Um, but I'll have a video posted of that and installing the new fuel system. So I hope you guys found this helpful. If you guys are looking into upgraded or OE uh, replacements, just, you know what, if you have any questions, actually call Summit. They're really good. They've been really good to me. They're allowing me to return my 750 Holley carburetor in order to exchange it for the Holley EFI system. And I've had the carburetor for about a year now. Uh, granted, it's been in the box, so that's why they're going to be taking it back. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and as always, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Thank you guys.